Can't you just use this recent photo? Mm. <clears throat> All right. Here you go. Woohoo! All right, this is on Comet 67P. These are the vascular areas, and they call these the Dragon Balls. Dragon, dragon, rock, dragon, dragon balls. And these are the same things that are coming out of the Russian holes and the same things I'm showing everyone. Again, we have the ever-so-common problem with Mudfoss University in that he doesn't actually provide an argument. This is a hole. That is a hole. Therefore, giants are dead and these are blood vessels. These, when the sunlight hits them in a certain way, they literally boil the blood vessels out of here. And that's what creates the comas. Watch this. All right, you see I told you that they boil off? Well, when it hits the sun in the right way, they boil the blood out of the blood vessels. You see that? And that, and that, and that, and that. They didn't just happen there for no, no reason. And they're shooting this way because that's where the way the blood vessel pointed. And this is the way these blood vessels point. And that's the way that big blood vessel points out. And the other ones point in different directions. If this was blood boiling off in a comet, which... It isn't, obviously. You need to explain how, since the comp's discovery in 1969, the blood has continuously been boiled off. How much blood is held in these blood vessels? Because the other explanation for the tail of a comet seems to make a lot more sense given the evidence. The um, fillet lander had a spectrometer in there or whatever. They had something in there to analyze the molecules, and they are... 100% organic. They're all organic. Exactly. They're, they're uh, hydrocarbons just like would come out of your blood vessels. Stupid statements like that are part of the reason why I make these videos. Because in two seconds, he can say something that's completely false. 100% organic. They're all 100% organic. They're all 100% organic. They're all organic. But sounds possibly believable to his argument. And I have to spend how many parts of a video dissecting what's wrong here. It's beyond annoying. I provide papers to the scientists that actually do this stuff, by the way, in the sources, so you can look it up yourself. Don't take my word for it. And it's... <laughs> how much more work do I have to do than he does, right? It's bogus. Anyways, to go over what's wrong with his statement, I'll first try to say where I think he got it from. Go to the Wikipedia page, which I have listed in front of you, and it says here that the lander revealed 16 organic components. Huh, wow. That's interesting, right? Oh, look at me. I'm shaking in my little space boots. Could this be some reason why maybe blood is squirting out of this comet? No. Read it further, right? Four of which are seen for the first time on a comet. Blank, 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 and shown here. I'm not going to try to pronounce these words. I am not... A biologist may stretch the imagination. That being said, the compounds found on 67P are carbon compounds. Carbon does not necessarily mean blood. Organic does not necessarily mean blood. You have to look at the definitions that the scientists refer to and talk about in this particular example. Organic is a carbon-hydrogen bond. Not everything that is an organic compound is necessarily related to biology, by definition. There are plenty of petrochemicals, hydrocarbons that have nothing to do with what we're talking about here. But that's irrelevant, right? It says organic rich crust on the asteroid, therefore it's a big chunk of meat hurtling throughout the universe. Please take the time, don't just take what he says as honest to God truth, take the time and look it up because these statements are beyond ridiculous, have no merit in the actual facts about the situation, and that stuff's irrelevant to him. He just wants you to believe it because, oh, chunks of meat flying through space, isn't that cool? Everyone's lying to you. Giant conspiracy for some bullshit reason. The extraordinary claims are not supported by extraordinary evidence. It's just that it wasn't muddy up down in Florida. This has a heavy, heavy, deep, deep layer of mud. By the way, I, the reason I was talking about Florida is Florida has exact same thing. Florida, I believe, is a lung. I couldn't make this shit up. I couldn't make this shit up if I tried. I'm sad that I lack the talent to make this shit up. And it's starting to collapse here and there. All of a sudden, things with sinkholes will sinkholes ago. 
So if Florida is just now starting to collapse and is a lung, does that mean in the past it's been a filled lung? What exactly is Florida filled with? Meth gators. <laughs> the whole reason I was in touch with the Russians is that I had responded to a guy that was on TV talking about sinkholes from Japan and I on Nova and he responded back and then oh I don't know not long after that he he got a hold of me says here I'm going to patch you through to the Russians they want to talk to you about the sinkholes in Yamani and I said okay so I talked to somebody in Russia what the hell is that story it's the worst the worst absolute story I've heard of my life. You emailed someone in Japan and they patched you through in 2015 to someone that sounded Russian. Therefore, you are helping the Russians with their sinkhole problem. What? I said, there's nothing you can do. I mean, if you keep taking the stuff out of the ground, and even if you stop taking it out of the ground, I don't know how you're going to, you know... There's so much removed out of the ground, the fluids now, it had to come from somewhere. That's your fucking advice? Oh, I'm sure the Soviet Federation's gonna anoint you a hero on the scale of Yuri Gagarin for that excellent geologic, biologic information you've so graciously provided to them. Oh my god. Oh, no wonder Russia's doing so well nowadays. Because it, the d decay in the, from the blood vessels in here, blood is methane. This is methane. Notice how it's not blood? You're welcome. Uh, your blood is, is oils and gases. No, it's not. That's where it comes from. And the, the CHs, carbon, you know, hydrocarbons. And that, that's, it's the breakdown of biological things. And um, as it comes through all these little vessels and holes, they collect in these tubes. And then all of a sudden, they explode. So blood is actually methane. And methane explodes. And there's lots of blood everywhere because there's lots of methane that's actually oil. And it's methane that's the oil. And that's why it explodes. And comets are chunks of meat. And you help the Russians because you're just that friendly of a pal thanks to your Japanese friend patching you through. Yeah, no, no, no. no. You have successfully debunked all of science. Congratulations. Oh, oh, oh.